People Matter here, coming to you with another unboxing video. This has to be one of the biggest box uh, that I'm going to be unboxing. It's 21 inch tall. Uh, again, this is not a sponsored video. I'm going to give you the honest review. I'm going to be using a Stanley multi-tool or a knife uh, box cutter to open this up. Uh, again, safety is a number one priority as a crazy Russian hacker says. So be careful when you're using knives or be careful when you're, you know, cooking because I also make cooking videos. So let's get started. Right off the bat, someone has sent a gift from you from Macy's. So let's open it up. What is this? This one. I don't know what it is. So let's go. Get this out of the way. I do not believe this. I think I know who it is from. But my God, I don't believe this. I actually wanted this and I got it. I know who you are, you know who I am. So thank you for sending this. The smile that I have is genuine. Uh, the box is a Bella 2.6 quart air convection fryer. Chicken, I don't make it. Kale chips, yes. French fries, yes. Drumsticks, no. Roasted salmon, no. Fruit, yes. 2.6, uh, 2.5 liter capacity. Holds up to 2.2 pound of food. Adjustable temperature. 60 minute order should have timer, no unpleasant order, no unpleasant order, 150 watts. Uh, two recipes included and it has a two year warranty. I know who this is from. And adjustable temperature, 60 minute order shut off, power on and off, cool touch handle, uh, the cooking grill thing, of course. And this side is in Spanish. French fries, 70%, 77%. Percent less fat, fewer calories, chicken tender, I don't eat them. Whatever you can deep fry, you can air fry. So let's get started. Take the box cutter, open it up. Take the other side, open that up. And right off the back, uh, this is kind of nice that they say that. Uh, let's get social genres on Instagram and Facebook, taking picture. Uh, my Bella is a hashtag. They have Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, of course. It's going to be on me. Uh, initially, you have the cooking instruction, the top styrofoam piece. Uh, this is split in the middle, so I need to put the box down and take it out. All right, it's out of the box. Now, this is where the magic happens. Taking that out. Oh God, this is heavy. This definitely feels like it's very well made. Uh, sealed from all sides, I think. E yes, it is, like no, no it's not. So I'm gonna tilt it. Take it out. Here we go. And this is how it looks like. And the key feature of this item are, it has a power button. Uh, heat on and off a timer that goes up to 60 minutes and the temperature control dial that goes up to 400 degrees the thing that I did notice is once you set the timer it cannot be turned off uh, and it only comes on when you have the timer on basically you cannot push the power on and off and let go of the timer so timer controls everything uh, the only downside with that uh, is that once the dish is done or if you overestimated the time and the dish is done you have to wait for the timer to click off the easy bypass of that is just rotate the uh, heat temperature thing to off that way the coil is off disconnected from the power at that point and once that's done the timer is just going to ding other than that the basket is pretty sturdy uh, to release it you have to push the plastic tab out basically this is the on and off or the lock on and off mechanism. Uh, once you take it off, it's a pretty sturdy metallic with shields on the side, so nothing gets splattered on the inside. And this is a heating coil inside. It is pretty strong, it is pretty tightly uh, built, so it actually will disperse the heat very evenly. And the way that you take the basket out is you push the clear plastic lever forward, and then you push the button, the whole thing comes out. So the entire basket does come out and you're left with the bottom base that will trap any oil or any drippings. Uh, I'm thinking I might put aluminum foil on the bottom to prevent it from getting dirty because cleaning this 
versus cleaning this will be a lot easier. But I don't want to destruct the airflow, so I'll think about it. As far as the power supply is concerned, it just uses your regular prawn power supply. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. Later, people.